You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. On Tuesday, January 10th, Pikeville PD arrested a Floyd County resident and charged him with burglaries at two local businesses. Now in custody of the Floyd County Jail, James Prater was charged with third-degree burglary and first-degree criminal mischief. Prater has allegedly caused several thousand dollars in damages in the process. On the first burglary we had at the um, Fun Time Inflatables, the subject um, attempted to open that door with a pry bar for several minutes and created substantial damage to both doors. It's a double door and he was unsuccessful and he subsequently just busted the glass out with the crowbar, entered the business and you know once inside there there was damage done all, all over the store um, including in the back you know where the public can't even go uh, behind the registers to the arcade machines which I'm sure customers probably go in there right now and see they're probably not operable and that's why um, then you got the Riverfield Tent Cinema where um, subject you know one of the reasons we tied these in together is he, he had the same method of operation of entering the businesses um, which you know I'm sure that'll all come to light in court for him but um, he, uh, he had damaged a door there and he had made, done some damage upstairs with an, an item that he stole to the wall. Uh, and, um, uh, he had stolen a bunch of other miscellaneous items from the movie theater as well. Through a two-day investigation, Lieutenant Branham, along with help from Detective Bruce Collins, Sergeant Jeremy Giles, and Floyd County Deputy Kevin Johnson, were able to find and arrest Prater. It's always a team effort. We don't come out here and do this for individual accolades or recognition whatsoever. You know, like I mentioned before, we just want justice for the victims and we have to work together as a team with other agencies too in order to accomplish that. You know, these small businesses, these are both locally owned businesses. You're talking about the Riverfield 10 Cinema and Fun Time Inflatables and they suffered hardship from this. They suffered a lot of damage and they lost a lot of things and they lost money and they're still trying to recover from it. So I wanted to see that these businesses got justice for that. You know, we, we were not going to, I did not want to just open a case and type it up and leave it there. I wanted to make sure that we put a face with the burglar and put him in jail. That way there would be justice for these businesses and that way other businesses and them didn't have to worry about it anymore. We believe that, uh, we believe we got an extremely tight case on this suspect and we're very happy that these businesses around town don't have to worry about getting uh, broken into and burglarized at night anymore now. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.